Hey folks, it's Red Falcon, and you're watching episode 13 of my Let's Play Evil Crumb Mercenary series. In our last episode, we went over um, how to complete an ace pilot mission, how to uh, form a fleet with friendly NPCs, and how to issue orders to those NPCs. So uh, when we left off, we had docked with the carrier in the uh, Sierra Combat Zone, and uh, I promised I would go over uh, reputation and the uh, military ships. So let's go ahead and enter the carrier. And as you can see, we don't have access to a cargo hold here because it's a military carrier and they just simply don't have room for mercenaries to uh, store equipment. So let's take a look here. Now instead of having the regular mercenary frames, you'll see that we have some new frames here. And these are all military frames. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Currently we just have access to the ferret. And you can see the statistics here. Um, military frames are superior combat frames, but you can't upgrade them. The only thing you can upgrade is the weapon systems, and that's really about it, just the weapon systems. You can't actually like go in and modify any of their points. But uh, since our military rank is really low, or more precisely non-existent, we only have access to the ferret. And the ferret is a lightweight scout spacecraft. Um, if you started the game as a combat pilot, this is probably the ship you started with. And as we go and complete more missions, our um, reputation will go up and we'll be able to unlock, unlock um, better ships. Now, it's interesting to note, if you're per thinking about purchasing one of these, um, you'll want to first go and downgrade your engine shields cargo bay fuel tank and wing system to level one on your on your existing frame and then drag it over drag the new frame over and upgrade it because there's some error where if you have high level components on your ship and you move the frame over it'll tell you these frames aren't compatible or there's not enough assembly left even though these ships don't use assembly so just downgrade all your stuff to level one first, then move it over, and that'll solve that problem. All right, so let me show you about this reputation I was talking about. If you go over to the news console, you'll see right here is our military rank. Well, first of all, here's our rating as a mercenary, 147. Um, this goes up when you complete missions. It goes down when you fail missions, so it's always good to finish the missions you start. Military rank, um, trainee, rank one. Um, these are the paid contracts we've completed. These include both civilian and uh, military. These are our kills. This is how many people are in our fleet, which we should have one here. I don't know where that guy went. And uh, that's really about it. Oh, and our call sign and our cash and all that stuff is right there. So what I'm going to do... Docking track to be disengaged. Because we're going to go ahead and dock with that station over there. Yep, that one right there. Let's see here. Neutral pitch. Oh crap. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't jump. Okay, that was bad form. All right. Thankfully, this game doesn't have. Uh, I don't know. Maybe those carriers have like repulsor beams or something. But thankfully, uh, I didn't have collision detection. All right. Okay, I've been thinking a lot about, uh... About our last dogfight. And, um, I really think I should, uh... Invest in some higher shields and sacrifice maneuverability. So I'm gonna go into the station and update that. But, uh, first things 
first. Um, I had recorded this episode already in advance, but um, there was something wrong with the recording, and so I have actually completed one of the um, one of the first guild missions in this zone, and all it was was um, it was a mission to go to a, a, some coordinates in space, find a crate, get really close to it, and leave. They're really simple. You just you just go to the waypoint. You look for a uh, um, a pink uh, nav indicator on your radar. Head to that. Get really close to it, and then mission complete. You come right back. So you didn't really miss much. That oh, while I'm here, let me go ahead and do my crew. Make sure check my crew out here. Okay, so he's he's doing good okay so I've got a navigator an engineer and a science ops I wish they had a weapons ops here but still yeah you know you take what you can get right okay all right those look good let me go ahead and refuel my ship all right okay well, I'm gonna go into the shipyard and make some changes to my ship and I will be right back Okay, I just want to show you what I was doing here. Um, basically what we're doing is we're upgrading the shields to um, level 10. They were originally at 4. Um, cargo base staying the same. Engines are staying the same. Fuel's the same. The wing system, we had to half that to a level 6 wing system. Um, other than that, everything's the same. So let's <clears throat> trade and build and launch the ship. Alright, let's go ahead and save, too. Okay. Available missions. <clears throat> okay, so like I said, I already finished that other mission off-camera, so um, we're going to go ahead and jump right into this one, and basically we're doing a combat mission. Seven fighters. Docking track to beam disengaged. Now, the ship does feel a little slower now. But we'll see how well she handles. Um, I should be able to take a lot more uh, hits now. Whoa! Oh god. Oh god. Not a good place to jump. Yeah, I see that. So I'm taking this guy out. <clears throat> Let's take stock of the situation here. Okay. That guy right there. Let's take him out. Okay. Let's take this guy out. Now I'm going to try going at a slower pace. Um, we're going to try uh, 1600 instead of uh, our usual 2000. Alert, Should be enough. Let's see. Wow, I really messed that guy up. <clears throat> There's some more power into the shields. All right. Next target. Actually, I think that was the guy I messed up earlier. Oh, crap. Okay. Oh, didn't work. Okay. Hold on a minute. Let me, uh, I'll be right back. I'm going to reload. And we're back. Okay. So let's try that mission again. Docking track to beam disengaged. Yeah, I. Ship's not as uh, durable as I had hoped. Okay, come 
on, girl. There we go. Let's get some speed here. guy's taken out. Alright, uh, let's see, who's a guy that's kind of away from his pack? That guy looks like a good target right there. Okay, let's try this again. And this is why we have a good big fuel tank. See the missiles. Let's see if that's good enough to take him out. Alert, inbound missile. Almost. Try taking this guy out. I'm also taking flak from the uh Alright, let's get out of here. Full power to the shields. We had a little bleed through, but I think we're all right. Okay. All right, good. Engineer's uh, really earning his pay on this one. Okay, good. So there's three of them left. I think we can take the last guy out. <clears throat> all right. like two of them left. We got the fighters off our friendly destroyer, so we should be able to take out... We should be able to take out that destroyer, no problem. He launched countermeasures. Okay, he's done. Here's the last guy. Done. Also, the last time I recorded this, there was like a bug or something where the carrier was still, uh, the uh, the enemy destroyer was still there, and even after killing it, it didn't trigger the uh, um, mission complete, so, but that's all good. Alright, like I said, I'm no ace pilot by any stretch of the imagination, but I get the job done eventually. Alright. Okay, let's go ahead and get this ship lined up, and head back to base. Yeah, I think I was flying too close to the uh, enemy. Alright. Turn off our IDS, refuel, quick save, take a look at our crew. Make sure our crew's doing good. Oh yeah, see? Who was the last person I paid? SJB? Okay, well SJB's already 100. I didn't really do anything. 
But see, look, his skill's improving. Actually, all their skills are improving, really. The engineer, he was at 19 earlier, and now he's at uh, um, 22. Science Ops is almost there, though. He's almost at... Um, his loyalty is almost at 100, and then I can, like, lower his pay a little bit. But we're good, though. They're, they're still... They're still doing good. Okay. Alright. Next mission. Okay, so now we're doing a... Um, a patrol run. Nearby enemy transport route where it... Convoy is expected to travel through the area within the next few minutes. Three waypoints required. Estimated enemy fighters, 21. Alright. This should be fun. Alright, let's um... Let's see if we can hire some help for this one. Give the enemy something else to shoot at. Like this centurion here. Oh, um, if you hit the F button, that'll, uh, make you form up on the, uh, ship. And your ship's computer will automatically adjust your speed and your, uh, heading. Though we need to be a little closer to him, though. If we want to trade. There we go. Four. What kind of trade did you have in mind? I would like you to join my fleet. Okay. Hit the F key to, I guess, uh, break formation. I'll go ahead and issue the order for them to form up. Actually, we'll go ahead and tell them to refuel after I get this guy. Okay, and um, yeah, it looks like he's going to engage that Venari interceptor. Let's go ahead and why are you rejecting my trade request? Okay, he's rejecting my trade request. Okay, well I guess it's just me and the. Uh, That Star Master mine? I don't know, I can't tell. Okay, well we got one wingman, so... Hopefully that'll be enough. Let's see. Let's go ahead and take these guys out. Oh, I forgot to fill up on Exodus missiles. I'm three short. Oh well. Alright, I forgot about this part. Okay, well, it really screwed that Fenari up. It was heavily damaged. Alright. And I guess I'll just leave the wingman to, uh... Defend me. Okay, so we gotta line up the approach. I always like to uh, slip into uh, inertial mode to deploy my countermeasures. That way, um, they don't pick up on my uh, engine signature because the engines are cold. Okay, it looks like they've got this guy handled, but yeah, they got him taken care of. Okay, who's the next target? Okay, take my pick. I choose this guy, Venari B. 
I'm not sure if that's designation as a bomber or what. But capital ships don't like bombers, so we're just gonna... We're gonna take him out first. Oh, wow. Okay, I just got my stuff ripped open. Great. Restore last save. Okay. Oops, let me restock up on Exodus missiles here. Okay. Exodus missiles loaded up. Okay. I'm probably gonna have to. Well, I'm probably gonna die again. So, yeah, I know. Probably not the best thing to say. So let's go ahead and recruit. That's Centurion. Okay, he he jumped. Great. Who's left? Um. Now oh, that mammoth. Yeah, he'll make a nice target for the other guys. Yeah, these patrol missions are pretty rough. Even with uh, a ship like this, with the shields upgraded, I mean, you get enough people pounding on those shields at once, they're going to break. Okay, come on, Mammoth. Okay. He's getting closer. And what kind of trade did you have in mind? Okay. We're good. Go ahead and tell him to refuel. And because I'm lazy, we're going to go ahead and just FTL right into the fighter, the uh, station, even though I'm, like, right next to it. Docking track to being engaged. Okay, quick save progress. Okay, now. Docking track to being engaged. Okay, yeah, so it shows I've got one person in fleet. Okay, good. Okay, let's, uh, available missions, pick up this contract. Docking track to be disengaged. Order the wingman to form up on me. <clears throat> okay. Alert, inbound missile. Give the missile something to sh shoot at. Okay, he's taken out. Okay. Who's next? Okay, so this guy's the closest. Alright. Oh, Mammoth, defend me. Actually, attack hostiles. All right. Now we're gonna do a strafing maneuver on this guy here. Okay. Target eliminated. Who's next? his way. Alright, <clears throat> target eliminated. Okay. Of course, I really shouldn't go through my missiles so quickly. I need to, uh, need to conserve them. Alright. 
But it looks like we've got two guys left, so this shouldn't be too bad. Okay. One more left. Now remember to approach him at an angle like this. Okay. And steady. And inertial. Okay. Target eliminated. Problem is, I only have two Exodus missiles left, so I've really gotta, um, really gotta save them for later. All right, let's see if I can uh, convince any of these other guys to join my squadron here. That's the mammoth I hired earlier. Let's see if I can get this Centurion and this uh, Hunter to join my cause. I mean, why not? I got the money for it. Of course, if you're if money was tight. And then you would have to uh, factor that into the cost of the mission. But if you use the um, the um, the hidden planet trade route that I showed you in an earlier episode, money shouldn't be an issue. Taking these guys so long to come over here. There we go. I'll agree to show the following. All right. He's in my fleet. Or she's in my fleet. Hey, you know what? Two's fine. I'm okay with two. Go under the ship. Alert in okay, let's take a look at what we have here. <clears throat> okay, we're kind of close to this capital ship here, so. Alert in Okay. Let's take out this Venari Eye. Alert, inbound missile. Alert, inbound missile. Alert, inbound missile. Crap, 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 crap. Okay, we're safe. <clears throat> we're traveling uh, fast enough that we outran those missiles. Okay, where was that other guy? Ah, there he is. Alright, let's try another approach. I'm going to really try to save those Exodus missiles. Alright. Yeah, the problem with uh, Newtonian physics, zero-G combat like this... As I was saying, the problem with the zero G Newtonian um, combat like this is essentially all enemies can target you at once, regardless of their um, like position to you, because they can just like continue on in one direction and change to face you. So, really, it's a uh, 
a lot harder. Unlike in a game where Wing Commander, where you can actually outmaneuver them like, um, like fighter jets in the atmosphere. While this is more realistic, a situation like Wing Commander is a lot easier. <laughs> But if you can master this combat system, you're good. Oh crap. Oh crap. Okay, wow. Okay, I just took a beating. Subsystems are damaged. Uh, wow, okay. Weapons are down, engines are down. Navigation's still online, though, so that's good. Whew. Wow. Okay. Um... Trying to think what I should do. Uh, in the interest of saving time, I'm going to cut this part out. So I'll see you after we get back in the fight. All right, folks. So uh, we're going to have to cut this episode. Um, I already looked at my time, and I'm like 30 minutes. So um, we're just going to save this mission for another episode. So I'd like to thank you for watching. If you uh, like this episode, please click the like button and leave a comment below. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. And as always, thank you for watching.